Gotham we're on season four episode four this one's called the demon's head so guys we're gonna be seeing more of Ra's al Ghul uh, in this episode because definitely from the title uh, we did see him from the end of the episode we know he wants that basically that knife or whatever that uh, Bruce purchased the point of Bruce purchasing that uh, that knife is he wants Ra's al Ghul to come to him that's what he wants it's gonna definitely be dangerous for him to have that knife around him and of course Alfred knows that everyone knows that you know Barbara King wants it wants it as well and we know how Barbara King, you know, be, you know, became alive again through the Lazarus Pit because of Ra's al Ghul. Because um, I'm like, wait, there's no way she's alive after that, you know, that electrocution that we just saw there from when she was in the water, you know, on the puddle, and uh, Tabitha, you know, electrocuted her and she died right there. I'm like, how is she alive? And I'm like, that should we that should have been really obvious. But yeah, so far this this season's really good, and I'm really look forward to uh, continuing on with this to see you know more Rachel Ghoul and Bruce Wayne. Uh, interactions. This is going to be really cool. But anyway, guys, the Patreon sponsor for today is from Professor Oswin. Professor Oswin, thank you for your wonderful support for this month. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Make sure you just go on the page to consider joining. I appreciate the support that does come around. Anyway, guys, let's get to this next episode for Gotham. Ever in your reading come across the name Rachel Ghoul? He was a warlord, but those guys always had stories invented about them. Oh no, he's, no he's here. No one should be here. Dr. Niles Winthrop, what a pleasure. Who are you? Ra's al Ghul. Museum's closed. How did you get past the guard? My apologies. Where's the knife? Oh, the, the police, they're coming. Imagine they are. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, Alex is running. That's what Is Anubis. What the hell? And you can kill the boy. Wow. That thing is so ugh. Ugly. Miss Falcone, welcome to Gotham. Mr. Cobblepot, it's a pleasure to meet you. Call me Oswald. Know that you are not on some fool's errand to rebuild your father's empire. Otherwise, I'll stab you. I'm gonna call you. Him. What a lovely surprise. Who's bankrolling you? A client. And no, though tempting, I can't give you the name. Is it Resh al Ghul? If it is Resh al Ghul, you don't know who you're dealing with. Gordon, the kid's not at home. Apparently, Granddad was looking after him while the parents were traveling. He's not at school. No one's seen him. Great. Listen, I need all the info you can get on a man named Resh al Ghul. He could be connected. He's <laughs> he spelled his thing. No one's seen the boy. He's either hiding, or the man who killed his grandfather has him. Look, greet. You'll find me where He's the earth meets the sky, where water flows and birds fly by. At dusk we'll meet. I'll see you Look there. Enigma. We'll settle. What the hell was that? We should torture him. Just get him to tell us where Enigma is. No, he just found us on the street. Well, that's exactly what you would say. Leave! It was the knife. Did, did you know it was dangerous? No. I had no idea. Alex, we need to get you down to the station. Well, I, I, I can't. That man, he'll think I saw him. He'll come after me. I will protect you. I promise. He'll keep coming till he gets the knife. Alex, do you have the knife with you? No. I hid it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Is that, that, oh! Oh, my God. Who sent you? Atifa, Atifa, I fish more. Thanks for clearing that up. Detective Gordon. He didn't he Ray. just showed up. Minister of Antiquities attached to the consulate of Nanda Parbat. You make you sound weird. Maybe I am. No. You're you're cool. I'm weird. You're a little weird too, I guess. You're weirdly cool. <laughs> May I see the knife, detective? It would so set my mind at ease. Gordon, where the hell is Bruce? You? Alfred! Wait, wait, wait! Back off! Get your hands off me! <laughs> you don't know what you got in there. I am starting to, but you are not helping. Gordon! Not now! Gordon! What's Rachel Gould? But he vanished. He knows we don't have the knife. This is Penguin City, and I want you to leave before he finds out you're here. Too late. I'm afraid. Jeez. 
Jeez, dropping bodies. And there we are. My paranoia is put to rest. <laughs> you used me. New times, new methods. decides to tell you is his decision, isn't it? Mr. Pennyworth tries to leave. Arrest him. Right, on what charge? She'll think of something. dying for it excellent question detective and you shall have your answer of course soon just give me the knife and i will release the boy hand me the knife you don't understand he killed alfred i can't give it to him if we don't hand it over now alex is dead that is all that matters no finally beginning to see things clearly the question is no are you strong enough Drop the weapon. Hands in the air, on your knees. Arrest me. Alex is dead because of me. I killed him. Your riddles suck. This place may make some people lie, some people speak, and some people cry. That couldn't mean anything. Lying, speaking, crying. You're just describing a range of human behavior. No! I meant lying, as in lying down, laying down, lying down. Listen, man, <laughs> you can't make riddles to save your ass anymore. I guess she was right. What? Who was right? Your number one fan. She said that there was something wrong with you. <laughs> Took me a while to believe it, but you're not smart. <laughs> I am too smart. I'm the Riddler. Oh, God, that name again? Tell me. How long did it take you to come up with those riddles? Doesn't it feel kind of chilly in here? No! I want the same pose or something else. No. Wait, please. Got it. Same pose. No! Stop. I've changed my mind. Better revenge is having you live knowing that you are not him. And you never will be again. <gasps> Goodbye, Ed. You have to trust me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Part of his plan. Stop, stop. He's looking for someone. All right, guys, it was a great episode for uh, Gotham. Uh, just seeing uh, Ra's al Ghul at the end going to uh, Blackgate. There's uh, he's obviously planning something. I think he's either looking for someone or he's going to do something in that you know in the prison. I have no idea, but this is like he just gave up way too easily. He could easily got that knife back, but this is part of his plan or whatever. I feel bad for uh, Alex that he got killed like that by Ra's al Ghul. Of course, Bruce feels responsible for that, but Bruce was correct on keeping that knife though because if they gave that, if he know he knows if he gave that knife to him. Who knows what it could be? It's going to be really completely dangerous. It was a hard choice for Bruce to do that, but he, I mean, I don't know what I would do, to be honest. If I was in his position, it's kind of tough to be in that position. Yeah, you see, uh, you know, Gordon and you know, Sophia getting together in that one, so it's going to be his, like, new girlfriend. It's like his third girlfriend. It's like, man, Gordon, stick with someone. Hopefully it'll be uh, Sophia, you know? stick with her or whatever but ed is trying to uh, basically find out who he is again it's like he's trying to find himself again he's like he says i'm the riddler but you know penguin's like you're not the same person as you used to be and he left them you know, he left them alive you know he thought i mean he was going to just freeze him or whatever but he decided you know what since you're not the riddler anymore i'm gonna just leave you like this to suffer 
knowing that you're not him anymore. Basically, he's trying to figure out how to get that back, and that's what Ed's trying to do. I don't know, maybe Ed has to talk to someone, I don't know, run into someone that maybe could help him find who, you know, who he is again. Something like that. It has to be something. The person who plays Rachel Ghoul is doing a good job playing him. I think I think he's doing a really great job playing him, you know, as him. And you know, he's just he's just a completely dangerous uh, person. But I get why Gordon doesn't want to, you know, doesn't believe that you know Alfred, you know, was dead and he came back alive again because a lot of people would think that's impossible. Obviously, Gordon needs to see that through his eyes to believe it. Anyway, guys, I cannot wait to get to this next episode. This was definitely a great uh, episode. So please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you go on the Patreon page, get the full reaction. And also consider supporting the channel as well. But anyway, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Gotham.